Just gonna do a real quick trout intruder, kind of a micro intruder. In the vise, I've got once again a Waddington 25 millimeter shank made by Umqua. Senyo's intruder wire and a black, and that's gonna be for size six or larger hooks for the hooks. Some owner side drifting hooks, size four. Um, and some black uh, uni six aught. We're gonna start off with one of my favorite materials. It's some Angora goat. This is gonna act like um, almost like a hackle because it's pretty uh, pretty nice and wispy and a little kind of stiff, you know. I'm gonna take about uh, just a little pinch of this. You can use it for some color, but also for a little bit of a prop as well. And you'll see when this gets spun in here how it's going to help prop up material. It's going to go for a dubbing loop. And put our dubbing in there. And I like to spread this out, keep it from clumping up, give it a pinch and a spin. And for this, I'm going to take my my dubbing brush, it's a golf club cleaning tool. I'm really gonna pick this out. Not looking for a lot of density here, looking for more of a prop and just a little bit of a bump for materials. You can see as I'm combing this out how nice and uh, stiff that is. Start making our wraps, pulling back our goat. Pretty tight wraps, one right in front of the other. And you'll see this nice bump here in the back of this fly. And we'll go ahead and tie that off. Got a little bit of excess material here, but we'll just tie that off and cut it off. My Dubbing spinner actually fell out, so just going to trim the excess there. Next material is going to be some pheasant, some hackle, and this is going to be some, add some nice coloration and some wispiness to the back of the fly. We'll go ahead and tie this in. I like to tie in the tip down the shank of the fly. Just going to add a little bit of durability and there you can see what happens when you get a little crazy with tying fast with these <clears throat> umqua shanks They're, they have a little bit of a return on that eye that's going to end up being a little bit sharp trim out our excess here it's a little a little sloppy but we'll get her trimmed up and for this hackle we're going to go ahead and Fold back the far side of this hackle, makes it a little bit easier to wrap. Touching turns here, real tight to that dubbing that we put in. And oh, about three turns or so, three and a half. Go ahead and tie this off. Going to add some Wapsi Silly Legs and, and Pumpkin Green and Orange. Just a couple on the back, just to give it a little bit of movement. So what I like to do is just pull a couple of those off. I'm going to tie it, or tie them in on two on one side. And I'm going to tie... <clears throat> A couple wraps going forward and then what I'm going to do is pull these legs across to the other side and try to match them right up along the side just like our other legs were. And then we'll cover up our tie-in point here. And then I really like to use pipe cleaners to hold back material. The next 
thing I'm going to do is do a little dubbing loop here of some more dubbing, but we're going to kind of do it somewhat like a noodle where we'll wind up, uh, you know, not picking out the dubbing. And I've got some ice dub and olive brown here. And we'll go ahead and I'm kind of picking this apart. Got about that much of it, quite a bit. I'm actually going to cut it in half and then mix it in together. I have dropped it. So just kind of shortens that dubbing up a little bit. And we'll end up with about that much dubbing. We'll put that right in our loop. And we want it to be fairly tight to that dubbing loop. We don't want to pick it out too, too much. That's about how long of a loop I've got. About twice as much length on here as I'm going to be covering distance-wise. So I'll pinch and spin, and that's going to spin into a nice noodle. And then we'll make our body with this dubbing. So we'll wrap in touching turns here our body and we want to make sure we have enough room at the end of the fly to finish it off cut out our loop and we're going to use another one of those pheasant hackles here. And you can use any kind of soft or long hackle that you like. Sometimes I'll use wood duck and teal flank and different more natural colors like those. Or natural feathers I should say. Same thing, we'll fold this feather back. Sort of a prop here, but also gives some nice wispiness to it. Tie this off. And then, since it's a kind of a micro intruder or smaller intruder for trout, we're going to use some marabou, but it's going to be some smaller marabou. And it might actually be marabou that you wouldn't be able to tie in traditionally. I'm going to pick through some of this pheasant I've got here, which is actually a little bit of almost like a chickaboo or pheasant marabou. You know, kind of want a fairly small profile, or short profile, I should say. And I've got one here that I like. So it's kind of a hybrid feather. I'm going to end up actually cutting off this feather right about here. Bottom of the feather off. See how much we've got left there. And then this top of the feather, the tip of the feather, I'm also going to cut that off. And instead of tying this feather in and wrapping it like traditional marabou, I'm going to make another dubbing loop here. And we're just going to place this, the stem of the marabou right in the center of that dubbing loop and we'll push that fairly close to the dubbing loop tie off point same thing pinch and spin here this is a pretty effective way to tie in marabou that's tough to wrap or leftover marabou even if you have some leftover on a stem that you don't you can't tie in 
You'll see how that picks out pretty nicely. And we'll go ahead and fold that back and wrap that in. You can see we're just about to the end of our fly here. Cut this off. And we'll go ahead and get that wet and comb it back and do a little whip finish here. off our pipe cleaner and you'll start to see what this fly is going to look like here. We'll cut our rubber legs about a quarter of an inch past that hook here. Cutting them different lengths and I'm going to take my brush again and kind of brush this out. And You can do this unweighted, weighted it's really up to you. You can vary the materials. But a lot of the kind of smaller intruders you see out there are still just jam-packed with materials and don't swing near yeah, don't seem nearly as swimmy as this one is. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back in the vise so you can give it a look. And hopefully that's something you'll add into your fly tying repertoire. Just a little mini trout intruder. Thanks for watching guys.